Hello all, welcome back to Let's Play Wozhack. Last time, we plunged Maula the Fallen, a level 7 Valkyrie, way down into a previously unexplored part of the dungeons of Wozhack in search of the Amulet of Yore. So this time, let's pick up where we left off. Hopefully we're not going to run into any more cyber gnomes equipped with their weird fighting robots. I think we emptied this chest last time. I'll take a quick look though, just in case. Yeah, nothing in there that we need. So let's press on to the left. Bit of gold. Dead end. Okay. So I think that's probably it for this floor. We should be able to head back down to the next one. If you remember, um, we've started travelling by lift now. We've moved on from the um, primitive ladders and staircases of earlier in the game. Okay, so we do actually have a robot gnome guy. The Wand of Death seemed to work pretty well the last time. Um, I will, however, try the Wand of Magic Missile instead. Right in the face! Urgh! Okay, that went alright. Let's just bash him with our big metal stick. Okay, not working. Right, Wand of Death it is. Uh, there it is. Don't know how many charges are left. There we go. Killed the gnome. And the robot fell down as well, so it's all good. Don't need his outfit. What else have we got? Oh, crap. No. Down. No! Down, you asshat. Alright. Fine. Those are slightly unwieldy controls, I have to say. Um, you saw me. Well, I don't know. I think the mouse pointer doesn't show up in the recording. But I very, very distinctly clicked on the left one to go down. Anyway. Let's see what we've got here. Pick up an outfit. I don't want to pick up an outfit. I deliberately was trying to avoid picking up an outfit. Um, oh well, I'll hang on to it just in case we bump into a shop soon. I can always sell it for cash. It's the Morrowind way of playing. Alright, there's a cane of some description. Fine. White staff. Okay, I don't like this pitch blackness, but at least we can see the chest. Get some stuff out of it. Bronze splint mail might work better than our current splint mail. So I'll pick it up and see. Okay, we're overburdened. Let's try equipping the armor first. Do I have any scrolls of identify, actually? Yes. So let's identify this bronze spook mail suit. Uncursed. So that's good. Might as well put it on. I mean, I don't know for sure that it's better than this one, but I imagine it is. Seems like it would be. So let's put that on, take that off. Um, I also need to drop some of this crap. I'll drop the shield, and I'll drop the gnome outfit. Okay, I think that's probably... Oh no, I still have a weight symbol up here in the top left. Sort of anvil symbol, so... Um, or lead weight symbol, so I must still be overburdened. Uh, let's drop my splint mail, that's probably heavy. There we go. Okay, I don't think I have any light or anything in here. I'll have a quick look, see if I'm carrying maybe a lamp of torch. Doesn't look like it. I do have a scroll of light though, so let's read that. There we go. Good stuff. Looks like the light just hovers here though, so that's not the most useful thing that could have happened. And there's nothing through here anyway, so it was kind of a waste at the end. But never mind, at least we know how that works now. Let's eat some nomads to cope with our burgeoning hunger. And actually, I'm going to very quickly swap back and forth between... Oh no, I did drop my other splint there. I was going to say I'm going to quickly swap back and forth between them and make sure this one is better. So I'll trot back that way and pick it up. And um, Because you'll, you see I get um, an AC plus and or minus whenever I change my armour, so... Okay, minus five, plus six. Um, minus six, plus five. So actually, the basic splint mail is better. Well, that's very odd. That's not what I was expecting at all. It's a good job I came back to check. Let's toss it on the floor with the contempt it deserves. Okay, so it's back to the lift to head downstairs. Um... I have taken a bit of damage, but health is mostly back, so I'm not too worried about that. Pitch blackness and a gnome. Okay, now I'm starting to regret not keeping that scroll of light. What's that? Violet gem, I'll take that. Okay, that seems to be a dead end. 
Aha. The door is locked. Let's kick it. Okay, I'm going to wand him in the face, and that sounds disgusting. Um, wand of death, right in his face. And now I just need to take out this machine thing again. I have sustained quite a lot of damage, probably in his initial attack when I kick the door open. So let's try using the wand of fire on the machine. Hopefully get rid of it. Go on. Alright, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Come on! Come on! Ugh, there we go. Level up as well. So we got a load of health back. That's very welcome. Um, I could get that up to level 3. Still more critical hits. What does Fury do? Plus 2 to hit enemies when you're below quarter hit points. I don't want to let it get that low. What does Gastronomy do? 10% more flesh on corpses. Considering how frequently we get hungry, that actually might be worth picking up. So let's do that. So we should now find more meat on the bodies of our fallen enemies, which should hopefully help to deal with the um, hunger issue. Let's use the Wand of Death against this mass of guys. Oh, it says nothing happened. Maybe our Wand of Death is out of charges. Alright, let's try the Uncursed Wand of Magic Missile then. Okay, I took a hit. Um, still got a lot of enemies running our way. Let's try the Wand of Fire. Whoa, okay. You upgrade your death spell casting skill. So, um, I can upgrade one point there. Oh, and we have a light side, dark side kind of dynamic here with life and light on the left and death and dark on the right. I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly happy. I quite like Darth Revan. Alright, um... Let's have a look at our potions, see if we've got a health potion. There we go, potion of healing. Two potions of healing, let's use that one. Good. And now try wanding it again. Uh, Uncursed Wand of Striking, see how that goes. Yeah, okay, that worked. Because that was actually getting pretty dangerous there. It did start to seem like we might... Uh, oh my god. Alright. Um, Uncursed Wand of Death has no charges left. Um... Okay, let's stick with the Wand of Striking. That went pretty well before. Okay, we've got the Dwarf still coming at us, so strike again. Boom! There we go. All sorted out. Then we just need to take down the Gnomish Woodcutter. Woodcutter? What kind of wood is it cutting down here? I mean, seriously, there's no wood here. Ugh, come on. Okay. Now, there should be a lot of loot lying around. Don't want the Iron Shoes. Or the chainmail. Red-eyed shield could be interesting. I'll pick it up and see what it does. No minutes, might as well take that. Not positive about circular amulet, because it's well, I'll take it. It's probably just jewellery, but it'll be worth some gold. A couple of ones of striking, so that's good. Not bothered about any of the weapons. I have quite enough weapons already. What about over here? Some more kit. Curved wand, yes, and not the weapons. Okay. So, let's take a look at the Red-Eyed Shield. Don't have any Identify Scrolls left, so let's just do it. Okay, so it's AC1 as opposed to the AC2 of our other shield. At least it's not cursed, so let's just switch back. And I will drop that shield, because why the hell not? I seem to be living right on the edge of becoming burdened. Is that a hive? I'm sorry, but seeing that hive on the wall just made me think of Spelunky. Wherein you... If you see a hive like that, you're probably going to die because there's an enormous bee's nest inside. Um, chest is locked. Let's kill it. Uh, take that. Come on. Okay, get stuff out. Templar cape. I'll give that a go. It might have some special effects. Ruby ring will probably be valuable, so just take the lot. Um, okay. We've got quite a collection of capes going on here. Let's try the Templar cape. Eh, it's much the same. Yeah, they're all basically the same. But the Templar one kind of fits with our um, medieval militant aesthetic here. So let's stick with that. Oh my god, he fired a wand at me and shot himself in the face. Amateur. Alright, let's try wanding him in return with our curved wand. See what happens. It teleported him. That's nice. Handy effect. I mean, oh, there he is. Alright, let's take him down. Oh, okay. 
almost died there. But let's just put this machine out of its misery. I don't know why we miss these things as often as we do, but fine. Doesn't seem to be a lot I can do about it. Is he carrying anything? Probably not. Alright, better rest up for a bit, because health is quite low at the moment. So rest until healed. Oh, getting hungry, of course. Alright, let's eat some nominids. And then... It actually injured me, but at least it took the edge of the... Uh... Oh, where did he come from? At least it took the edge of the hunger off. Let's rest some more. Hungry again. Do we have anything else? Oh, we have loads of stuff. Let's eat... Oh, let's not eat a rotten bit of nominids. Let's eat normal nominids. There we go. I will, in fact, drop the rotten innards. I don't want to eat them by mistake. And now we should have less of a food problem since we're... Um, we have a skill that will allow us to pull more meat off corpses. What the hell is that thing? Ice Vortex. Um, I wonder if a fire wand would be extra effective or less effective. Let's try it. Eh, pretty effective. Let's try it again. Using Z to zap. Blessed Wand of Fire. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I mainly use these shortcut buttons at the bottom. But for the ones I can remember, like Z to zap the wand, and R to read things, um, I tend to use keyboard shortcuts for those. But I can never remember what the shortcut is for rest. It might be Z, possibly. Um, Anyway, looks like we're back to ladders rather than elevators, so let's descend. Whoa! Okay, they're getting very wand-happy down here. That's an extremely strange fighting stance. Um, yeah, getting very wand-happy, so I assume we're going to see more and more magic as we descend into the depths here. Don't need the outfits, do need no I I feel a bit bad about scoffing down the internal organs of all these gnomes, though. I mean, they are basically people. They're people trying to kill me, yes, but still people. Okay, picked up some gold shit. Okay. Didn't pick up some gold shit, but uh, let's use... What shall I use? Uh, Wonder Striking. In the face. Yeah. Now bash the hell out of this machine. Okay, there's another one behind me, so let's whip out another wand of striking. Hit him on the top of the head. Yeah, there we go. Now, just need to take out this machine. With a hundred misses, as usual. Looks like we fell down a lift shaft, so I'm actually not sure how we're going to get back up there. Um, there might be a ladder somewhere around, but I would assume... If there's a lift, it's going to be above us, in fact. Um, so, shite! Oh my god, this is going very badly. Oh, it's all gone horribly wrong! I'm trying to hit spacebar to jump and I just keep missing somehow. Um, or not jumping at the correct time. Let's magic missile this guy while we've got some time to do it. There we go. Is that... Oh god, there's another enemy there. Dust Vortex. Alright, let's use Magic Missile against it. Okay, it did some damage at least. Okay, still not killing it. But at least we're inflicting damage. Come on. Oh, okay, that's the machine thing now. The Dust Vortex is gone. Defeated by our wand use. Okay. Come on. Right. Is that a weapon of some sort? No, I think that's part of the sprite. Alright, grab some gold. Kick it! And I'm going to try very, very hard not to fall down any more shafts. Shafts are not my friend. This might be too strong for me. Oh, listen to that. That just sounds unpleasant. Ugh. Yeah, I think after all those failed kicks, it's safe to assume it's not going to work. But that did make me hungry. What a foolish escapade. Let's eat a nominid. The cheese seems to be lasting pretty well. I'm not going off or anything. Um, is this actually a lift here? Or are we in for another fall? Let's see. 
Oh, those things are still alive. Alright, well... I'll tell you what. I'll read this scroll while I've got a bit of peace. Magic mapping. So I actually get to see the layout of this floor, which is handy now I've completely finished exploring. Level up! Excellent. Okay, um... Hunger is still kind of an issue, so maybe gastronomy would be good. Um... Shielding could be handy. Weapon knowledge. You can sense the better weapon than dual wielding. I don't plan to dual wield, so... No. Not going to bother with nightmare mode. Weapon precision might be a good choice. So let's take that. And take out this remaining machine beastie. It looks like we are at least in a lift here. There's some kind of platform beneath my feet for the first time in several minutes. Come on. Okay. Now, are there switches here? Oh, there's a switch there. Alright, let's use that. You hear gears grinding in the distance. Okay, there's the lift. So you can actually bring the lift down after you. This gives us the opportunity to go back up and explore the floors that we fell through so ignominiously. I'll grab that potion since it's right there. Won't grab the dagger though. Right, let's keep going up. No, that's down! Go up! Oh, git. Alright. Um, magic missile potions. Uh, wands, rather. There we go. Alright, club this thing down. The gnome wields a wand of magic missile. Oh, don't you dare. Wand of fire. Urgh! Yeah, fall down. It's a little bit like pushing over a small child, which makes me slightly uncomfortable. Not based on my own experience of pushing over small children, I hasten to add. Uh, okay. Come on. I'm getting fairly tired of fighting these things. Um, mostly, Wars Hack is a very, very well done game, but that is kind of irritating. I don't know if maybe they would fall more easily to a spellcaster class or something like that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. That's the kind of thing that makes sense. So perhaps the Valkyrie is just not cut out for all this gnome power loader fighting. Okay. Let's see if I can make the lift go up this time. There we go. Excellent. What's that? Oh, it's just a club. Wow. Some kind of mine shaft? Can I explore it? No, it's just back... Oh, crap! Wow. So they, they actually have people going around mining down here. That's a nice touch. I approve. Let's use a wand of striking. Strike him straight off his steam mining cart. That is steam-powered mining cart, not a cart for mining steam. And you have to actually jump over it. That That's pretty nice. I do like that touch. It gives the feeling that there's actually stuff going on down here. That all of these creatures and monsters and whatnot have lives when we're not around beating their heads in. That's always a nice touch when um, when a game makes it so that it doesn't feel like the monsters are there just to be slain by adventurers who come toddling through. Okay. Right, so we were fighting here, uh, but we still haven't explored this place. So this is probably one we fell through. Um, let's use a wand of striking. Okay, struck one of them, so that's good. Uh, how about magic missile in the face? There we go. <laughs> For some reason they seem to insist on headshotting people with these wands. It's the old FPS habit. Okay, upgrade your clubbing skills. <laughs> oh yeah. Um... I'm nothing if not big on clubbing. Well, rewind about 12 years and you might be right. Okay, is this locked? Yes. Kick it! One kick. Strong legs. Okay, so let's wand this guy. So many wands I'm actually losing track of them. Okay. Club the machine down. Club to death. Yeah. Okay. okay. There are lots of locks down here as well. Clearly gnomes are more security conscious than your average kobold. 
on the upper floors. Alright. Huh. <laughs> Did he kill himself by shooting the door? And causing it to bounce off. Oh god, weak from hunger. I didn't even notice. Alright, we'll have to eat the cheese. We're out of innards. One of you drops some internal organs! Okay, taking a lot of damage from this large boxer. Um, so, Wand of Striking. You can't un unwield your Wand of Magic Missile. It's cursed. Ugh. Alright, well, I'll use that then. Crap. This isn't going well. Okay. Um, you can upgrade your life spellcasting skill. That's fine. Oh, oops. Skills. Life. Yes. Confirm. Okay. I'd better drink my other healing potion. There we go. Kill the dog. Come on, kill the dog. Ugh, that was close. Any of these food? No? Alright. Um, what? I don't even know what's going on there. I can't feed it. It's dead. Alright, so we'd better rest up. Oh, although resting will make me hungry and I don't have anything else to eat. So let's instead start quaffing some potions. See if they heal me. Nothing happened there. Paralysis. Well, I have no choice but to just wait. And wait, okay. Um, emerald potion. Hallucination. Fine. Golden potion. Levitation. That's not so bad. Pink potion. Polymorph. Oh god, it turned me into a dwarf. And now I'm overburdened because I'm not as strong as I was when I was a Valkyrie. Alright, let's drop some of this rubbish that I'm not using. Um, Alright, inventory. Drop these shoes. Drop the various capes that I'm not wearing. Drop. Uh, I'll drop my two tubs of lard. <laughs> Since I have very little use for those, other than making my head slippery, as per last time. Alright, I can probably ditch uh, the wand that doesn't have any charges left. And let's otherwise start um, alleviating our burden a little bit, which is basically going to come back to quaffing potions again. Fruit juice, so it's basically nothing. Monster Detection Paralysis Speed. Okay, well, let's drop the Paralysis Potion. Because I can't see myself having much use for it. Oh, you can throw it at enemies. That's good to know. But for the time being, I'm just going to drop it. Um, since I'm burdened. And I'm still burdened. Crap. Oh my god, look at my health bar. I have next to no health. That's ridiculous. Alright, I'm going to have to start dropping luxuries here. Let's drop... Four blue gems. Yeah, all all of them. Do I have to do it one at a time? That's inconvenient. There's probably a way to drop all of them, and I just don't know what it is. Still burdened? Alright, more gems. Drop. Drop. They're, they're probably very light, so... Bollocks to it! I'm just going to cope with being burdened. I'm not sure what effect it has. I'd imagine it makes our attacks slower or something like that. Alright, let's wand this guy. And then club him. Okay, went alright. But, I'm in serious fear for our life here, because with such a minute health bar, I kind of can't see us lasting all that long. Okay, this is where we fell down originally. So, it should be okay to go back downstairs at this point. Um, since we've pretty much covered all the ground we missed, with that plunge. Um, Alright. Oh yes, this is where there was a major locked door that we couldn't kick open. So let's just keep going down. Oh, you're already at the bottom. So is this actually a complete dead end? What am I missing? Presumably, I need some kind of key to open that. Let's try prizing it open with a staff. No. Um... Yeah, it really seems like we actually need a key to get this open. But I don't know where the key could be. I mean, we've pretty much explored everything, haven't we? Haven't we? Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> well, I think there was... 
was there a bit of one of these floors that I didn't bother exploring? Uh, ah, there's a staircase further along here that leads to the one above, so that might be a way to go. Don't need any of this miscellany that's laying around here. Let's hop up the staircase. Oh god, some kind of bee. You begin bashing monsters with your gloved hands. Why? What effect have I had put on me? I mean, my head's glowing green. I'd guess maybe poison or something. But why is my weapon suddenly unequipped? Oh, probably because I tried using a weapon to prize open that door. I think that unequips your current weapon. All right. Don't need that spell book. <clears throat> Let's kick this open. Wow, is this some sort of monarch? The walls here seem to crackle with some kind of energy field. Presumably that means we can't attack and things in here. What have we got? The Gnome King. Um, I've killed a great many of your subjects. Sorry about that. You've murdered my people! For a thousand gold we'll forgive you. Well, they attacked me first, I'm pretty sure. But I don't have that kind of money anyway. Is that... Oh, crap! I mean, is this... Alright, I'm back to full size. So now I need to quash a uh, healing potion to get my health back up. Let's beat the crap out of this bugbear. And this kobold. Um, I can't pick anything up because I can't reach the floor because I'm levitating. Oh my god. Alright. Um, if there's nowhere else to go, I'm really not sure... Where to find the key to open that door at the bottom? Hmm. You're beginning to feel hungry. I have nothing to eat! Oh, no. And even if there was something to eat lying around, I can't pick it up because I'm flying! Oh, what are you doing to me, Wazhack? Uh, okay. So I think we've exhausted all of these places. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I've missed something. Okay, this is just the lift shaft again. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. Well, I'm not flying anymore. That's a small mercy. Let's go up, shall we? And just see if we go all the way up, as far as we can, if we discover something that we've missed. Keep going. Okay. Kill this dog. Alright, so it looks like there are maybe... No, we have explored here. I was going to say there may be um, floors we haven't explored up here, but no. Alright. Now we're out of the caves. We're back up into the sort of castle dungeon area. I'm really not sure how to proceed with this, so I guess we'll leave it there for now. Um, thanks for watching, as always. If you have any idea how to proceed from here, then leave me a comment below. Otherwise, um, I might have to play around with this a little bit off camera and just see if I can work out what the hell I meant to do next and whether I really need a key to proceed through that golden door. As usual, thanks for watching. Rejoin me the next time as I press on through Wazhack. Bye for now.